I'd Google what colour it was and if it was a happy one or not. Could you? <laughs> happy, happy one. one. <laughs> happy. <laughs> the big smiley face was no, a giveaway. Yeah, some of them like happy snakes <laughs> and the others snake angry me, ones. Found a happy snake in my bathroom at 11 o'clock on a Sunday <laughs> night. Hello. Tom Lingy and Loggie on K-Rock 955. And I just want to, I want to try and gauge your reaction if you were in the same situation as this lady. Okay, so a Geelong woman, this happened in Geelong. Yes. Late on Sunday night, walked into her bathroom mm-hmm. around about 11 p.m. So you're in a little bit of a daze at that stage anyway. That's like the, do I get up to pee? Yeah. Nah, all right, I'll get up to pee. As soon as you've thought that, you have to. No, see, yeah. I like to hold it in sometimes because I can't be bothered. What, really just oh. challenge yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a three-tiered system. It's a whole thing. Mate, the, the amount of times you complain about UTIs off air, there's yeah. your problem. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not my problem. Trust me. I know what the problem you're is. You're exploding your kidney. <laughs> so, so you're making those hard decisions about whether or not you've got a three-tier system or whether or not you're just going straight there at 11 p.m. Yeah. But, yeah. Plus, it's probably a bit dark. Mm-hmm. You, you maybe got one light in the house just to guide the way a little bit. Walk, this lady's walked into her bathroom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Out of the ceiling fan, there was a snake hanging wow. down. In Geelong? What? In Geelong, Recently correct. Recently or like summer? No, in, on, Sunday on Sunday night. Sunday night. Sunday so night. So you walk in in a trance and a <laughs> snake is just ah. dangling from your ceiling no, fan. No, thank you. No. no Cobras. I, I, I refuse. <laughs> Do you go in there? Obviously not. You close the door. And scream. What, you, get, you close the door and just never set foot in there again? Well, no. Yeah, and then you've got to get something to like jam under the door so it can't get out. What would you do? You can't call anyone. You can't call anyone well, at 11 o'clock. Well, you get o'clock. a pillowcase and like... Uh, no, uh, you're Googling uh, snake catcher. Surely yeah, but not at 11 o'clock at night. night. Yeah, surely that's part of the job. So could, I reckon uh, I'd Google what colour it was and if it was a happy one or not. Could you... Happy, happy one. one. <laughs> happy. The big smiley face was a no, giveaway. Yeah, some of them like happy snakes <laughs> and the others angry me, ones. Found a happy snake in my bathroom at 11 o'clock on a Sunday night. Hello, right. lucky girl. Not such a bad thing. <laughs> could, could you sleep that night though? Because you've shut the door, you've, you've jammed something underneath the door. Mate, no, you're, you're not sleeping. You don't just you're leave not it sleeping. there. That's not, no. do, you know, do you know what for this poor lady though, the, the worst part was? She'd bought the Geelong property three months ago yeah. and was unaware a neighbour had been missing a pet python since <laughs> September. <laughs> so it's possibly been in there since September. Get yeah. out. All right. So when you buy a new house, you need to do a structural test like <laughs> white ants or that and yeah. also a neighbour missing a snake test, obviously. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the neighbour's python test. Check out the neighbour's python. <laughs> 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 That's friendly. Lucky me. Tom Lingy and Loggy on K-Rock 955.